Hi, I'm here with Harvey Stevens and uh, we're at the Agriplex in London at a raining show. Uh, what's the raining show called? It's called the OBBO Fertility Show. Okay, That's you're... Ontario born, bred, or owned raining horses. Correct. Can you tell us how this show came about? And... The show's been going on now for 23 years. The show, it's the Fertility Show itself. Um, basically, it was designated and designed to promote the owners, breeders, and trainers, mm -hmm. horses, to have them to have a place to come show their horses and showcase uh, the breeding and the training and go home with some money and prizes. All right. And have you, uh, you yourself, show in the show? Yes. And you've been training reining horses and quarter horses for many years? Many years. Many, many years. Many years. <laughs> um, tell us about the farm you have. Um, I'm based in Norwood, Ontario. Mm -hmm. I've been training horses for about 40 years. Wow. I have 55 world and national championships. I have four NRHA world championships and two reserves. That's impressive. I've shown quarter horse, paint, pinto, Appaloosa, and Eric. Interesting. Yep. I'm in awe. <laughs> and I've done it all. I've done Western Pleasure, jumping, mm -hmm. buckboard driving, pleasure driving, cutting, reining, cow horse. The only thing I haven't done is showed ladies Western Pleasure because I can't pass the physical. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so what do you, uh, putting on one of these shows, there's a lot of work involved. It's a year process. A year process. A wow. week after this horse show, the books are closed. We start next year. It takes a year to secure sponsors, secure all of the prizes that we give away, to organize the show itself, to work with the Agriplex, the London Agriplex, and Sharon Chamberlain, probably one of the greatest people you'd ever want to work with. I mean, she's very accommodating. The fare's very good to us. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, you know, the, the stands have, have been packed. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think it'll seat almost 11,000 people. Yes. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's quite a... It, it puts the reigning horse industry in Ontario in front of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Especially the trainers that have stallions, like myself, in this, um, for example, any participating stallion that donates a breeding to our program, okay, and it gets sold, we give them a free entry into the fraternity. One of the mares that they breed, that they own, gets paid up all the way till it's, well, four, five, and six years old. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, my stud, alone, and then we, and like, for example, the highest placing horse in the two-year-old that's out of a participating stallion that has sold this year gets two hundred fifty dollars right off the bat okay so basically my stud was the highest placing two-year-old the highest placing three-year-old the highest placing limited three-year-old the highest placing non-pro and the highest placing limited non-pro so he's already received 1250 and there's two horses in the derby this afternoon and if they place high enough and above another participating stallion I'll end up getting another $250 or $500. So basically I'm I could stand a chance of coming home with $1750 for a donated breeding and a paid entry into the fraternity next year. Wow. So in order to get participating stallions Stallion owners to give their semen away when they spend so much time with a trainer getting it shown, they need to recoup some of the money mm -hmm. that they've spent. So to tell them, now will you give us a breeding, they've got to be able to see what that donated breeding is going to get them mm -hmm. or could get them. Right. Okay. If the horse is put in the right hands, they could go home with $1,750 today too, which I'm hoping I do. Yeah. Wow. So what does it mean to you to have um, a company like Brooks who sponsors you, but also you use our feed? Yes. Um, I understand we do a custom feed for you. Yes. Um, I know the feed's very important for any athlete. Any Raining horses horse. are different than any other type of deal because they have to have so much stored energy because they have maneuvers that they have to perform and usually it's 
two and a half to three minutes, they have to do a lot of things. So you have to be able to draw on any type of stored energy that they have. Not flash energy, which is short come and there's nothing to draw from. So when I first, when Brooks first approached me and I explained what I do and what I expect from my feed, my rep says, let me see what I can do. He's the first feed company rep to ever say, oh, well, you just feed this, it'll work. Yeah. I had two nutritionists call me. I had uh, Vern Avery call me. They were very interested in what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So the reason I changed and went to Brooks uh, was for that reason right there. They were willing to accommodate what I wanted from a feed to feed my horses. Oh, that's great. Man, I don't have no problems with it. It's the same consistency every time I open a bag. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's made fresh. Yes. I don't have to worry about it. And and Jeff's great. I mean, he knows just about when my feed's going to run out, and I get a telephone call yeah, this week right. or next week. <laughs> so it makes it real simple for me. I don't have to call. I just have to. When he's on the phone, I just have to go open my lid and see. Yes. So makes it real simple for me. You're, uh, you're I, referring I work to with Jeff Durham? Durham? Yes. Yes, from Durham yes. Feeds. That's from Durham great. Feeds. Yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. Well, that's great. So this afternoon you had two horses in the Derby. Right. And last night was the Futurity. Right. Um, what was it like out in the stands last night for the Futurity? It was busy. It was very busy. It was busy. I understand another one of our customers won big time yes. last night. Yes. So that was pretty Morris impressive. Morris Price had yeah. a really good Morris Price horses. had a great night, yeah. so that was yeah. impressive. So that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. No problem. And uh, success this afternoon, I hope. Thank you very much. <laughs>